And so you are here to talk about how uh, the social web or networking websites and all of that affected what happened in Tucson. Exactly. Well, last Saturday was you know when the shooting occurred, and there was so much buzz about it on the internet. I mean, immediately on Twitter, Giffords, um, Jared Lee Loughner, Tucson were all trending. And then what I thought was particularly you know interesting and that I noticed was that. All these different people that were tweeting about it, you know, everyone from, you know, large media outlets, reporters, um, eyewitnesses, friends of the victim, friends of the, ch or old friends of the gunman, all these different people were really working together on these social networking sites to, you know, get the information out there and be responsible. It, they took it as their responsibility to, mm -hmm. you know, retweet and tell their followers what was happening. And it really kind of turned into like, a, a newsroom mm -hmm. and, and so as you know being someone who works for CBS News how do you how do you see that compared to like the traditional way of reporting a story I mean that's you know I I work for the early show I work for CBS so a lot of what I do when you know when I'm as a journalist when I'm reporting on a stories I do use Twitter um, I think that I mean it's obviously it's very different it's two different mediums um, but definitely tra traditional media uses social networking mm -hmm you know, to, to talk to people. And I definitely want to some of the key players that, you know, were involved on Saturday. Um, so, so, yeah, so let's go through them. Let's go through them. Um, so, f well, first of all, um, Representative Giffords, she tweeted at the beginning of the day, you know, I have my um, this speaking engagement today. She said where it was. And so that was kind of the first thing that everyone, you know, knew that it was her event. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, I do that all the time. <laughs> so then, um, so she tweeted about it. Then one of her interns, who, you know, he definitely got a lot of media attention, Daniel Hernandez, you know, he tweeted, I I'm going to this event today. And then after some of the shooting was reported, he tweeted, I'm unharmed. I'm with the congresswoman. Um, please don't reach out to me right now. But this was, you know, the first person who was with her tweeting and getting it out there and, you know, letting people know what was happening. And then the following day, he Facebook mess or fa on his Facebook status, he put you know, people were writing, you know, you're such a hero, you know, thank you for everything you've done. And he said, if any, thank you for all your responses. If anyone you know wants to get in touch with me, here's my here's a a number to reach me for media inquiries. And I had reached out to him before, and he got right back to me. So it was really just kind of this accessible, you know, everyone can kind of get information out so quickly, and mm -hmm. you know, it was it was it was very cool yeah. I, you know but um and then another person was katie parker she tweeted um oh my god you know jared lee loughner i see him on tv i went to high school with him and immediately people were responding um, you know what's he like and she was responding right away getting information out and then she was able to confirm that these youtube videos that were up were actually his which was huge which was really big um and then also you know uh, mark kelly her husband and his twin brother from space both tweeted, you know, thank you for all your responses. Also on the show this morning, Patricia Maish, her son had been blogging, you know, my mother was one of the people that subdued the gunman today. And I actually reached out to him and he got me in touch with his mother. Um, and then, you know, a lot of the Arizona newspapers and affiliate television stations, they did such a great job because they were the first ones there of, you know, reporting what was going on. And then, you know, I, at Katie Couric and, Erica Hill, they were, you know, reporting on what was happening and what they were hearing, you know, live in real time as they were hearing it and, you know, we're on our way to Tucson and whatnot, which was, you know, showing how big of a story it was and just really got everyone engaged. Yeah. It just seems like with these uh, big events, whether they're tragedies, unfortunately, like what happened in Tucson or something, you know, like the Olympics, you know, it seems now with like Twitter and Facebook, you can directly contact the people who are involved and that wasn't the case you know 10 years ago so that's I feel like is a huge thing that we're seeing more and more absolutely and I mean it's crazy to think I mean you know there's been a few obviously major events in the past few years that you know since social networking has been around but you know to think about you know like I was saying you know what if Twitter had been around during 9-11 or, you know, during some of those huge events. It's, it's, it's really interesting to think about how social media is going to affect our future and, and future events as they occur. And I think that, you know, it's still very evolving. Um, so, you know, we don't know exactly how, how it's going to go. But um, Yeah, well, thank you so much, Jenna, for stopping by. It's always 
great to, you know, talk to you and hear how someone, you know, who works for CBS News, you know, gets their information. And it's great that, you know, we're doing it through Twitter and Facebook and then yeah, all the other. Me. Great. Well, thank <laughs> you, Jenna.